Hey guys, let me tell you the story about how I survived the 2020 lockdown. Back in December 2019, I already worked from home and had gotten used to it. Even if I was at home almost all day, I had the opportunity to go out and do my things. My resolutions for 2020 were planned and I was determined to fulfill them all. Happy New Year! Now time for my resolutions! First one, Pesos is strong, Pesos is strong, we don't need dollars, so we can travel the world, I'm going to travel all around the world, I'm going to visit all my friends, and I'm going to hug them very strong, I'm going to hug all my friends, world needs hugs, we need more hugs, also, I'm going to start going to a gym, that's a great idea, everybody needs exercise, I'm going to start to go to a gym. I want to try more food, exotic food, so I'm going to go to more restaurants. I'm going to try new food. I want to support my football team. I'm going to go to every, every match they have. I'm going to buy tickets. I'm going to invite some friends to go with me and I'm going to support my football team. I'm going to go to basketball. I'm going to go to uh, uh, football. I'm going to enjoy all the out, outdoor sports. Hmm. It's a good idea if I can just stop drinking. That's a great idea. That one was easy. The world stopped thanks to the COVID-19. The media are just to stay at home and avoid human contact. But the truth is that it was easier say it than do it. And for someone like me, it will be a little more complicated. I try to motivate myself to exercise. Suddenly, the days were always the same. I tried to meditate. I even tried to learn to play guitar. Suddenly, I developed a bipolar disorder. Okay, relax, relax. Just breathe. Everything will be fine. Uh, the doctors will find the cure. We'll find the vaccine. Uh, everything, everything will be fine. You just need to lock down at home. You just need to have some rest. You just need to find something to do. Whatever. You just need to. You just need a fast time. And, uh, well, just relax, relax, breathe, breathe, everything will be fine. <laughs> we are gonna die, we are gonna die, it's our end. Oh, what we're gonna do, I'm so young. Well, not that young. Well, but I have a lot of things to do, I need to do a lot of things, we are doomed, we are doomed. <laughs> happening no 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 you just need to find the place where you can breathe you pass some time you just need to talk to your friends you just need to <laughs> the government the doctors capitalism this, this is the fault of the cap capitalism the society this is the, everybody throwing garbage to the streets You've seen the cars, uh, a lot of pollutions, a lot of pollution on the city. Uh, this is all the societies, the society's fault. 
I was about to lose my sanity when a good friend sent me a text message. Making a video that talks about how I was being quarantined seemed to be a good idea, so my head got be busy with something. Doing my daily job and take time to make the video made everything flows. My life became balanced. But above all, I realized that I was fortunate to be alive. And that was the most important thing of all. Yes, the world had turned into a chaos, but we can adapt to this new normality. I was one of the lucky ones who did not lose his job, and that is something I am infinitely grateful for. Yes, many lives were lost, and that is the saddest thing about this story. However, those of us who are still here we have the opportunity to continue enjoying life and all it can offer to us.